Okay, so what I want to do is I want to give you a rundown of the basics of being a student at Kava. So first off, I'm going to go to k12.com, go to the menu, and go to OLS Login. That stands for Online School Login. Don't know why they couldn't just type that all out, but they didn't. So I click on that, and now I'm going to log into the school. All right, so I'm not at the school yet. I'm just on the outside looking in. I have to pass through the gate here. Okay, now I'm in the school, but I'm not in my classes. I'm just looking at uh, I'm just looking at the campus here. Okay. Uh, what we can see right now is up here. I've got a a link to my email showing me the emails I've gotten from. If I'm a student, then these would be from teachers. I'm a teacher, so most of my emails come from students and other teachers. And then I have this menu over here. Most important part is this part right here, the classes. All right. If the window were bigger, it would actually say classes here. Um, but since I made this window small so I could record it into a video, the words are gone. Still, it says classes when I put my mouse over here. So I click on this, and I see all my classes. So these are all the classes I teach, but uh, as a student, you would see um, the classes that you have. All right. As a student, you'll also see little notifications if you have overdue assignments in these classes. So I'm going to go into uh, ORN010B. That's online learning here. Uh, let's see if there's another one. I'll go into this one. This is the homeroom course. Now, as a student, what you want to do is go into every single one of your classes every single day. You see, we're outside in the hall now. We're not in any of our classes. You can't expect to find find the content for the day, the lessons for today, if you're in the hallway. You got to go in the classes. So every single day, you click on every single course and you see what you have to do and then you do it. That's how you that's how you be a student in a, an independent study school. You work independently. So I'm going to click on this class, the online learning class. Okay. So here I am logged in. And there's the con links to the content, all the units of this course. Homeroom is very small course. I have some announcements to read blah 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 and look here I have the class plan this is the plan for what we're doing every day uh, there is an assignment tomorrow it's just saying that there's a homeroom rally that's a meeting and then March, March 6th another meeting is available if I want to see uh, what we were doing last week I can click on the calendar here choose the previous previous day and there that's what we were doing on the 20th okay so uh, this isn't the best class to use it as an example let's go to a different one so I can either go back to my home or I can click on it uh, I'll show you later so let's just do the version where we go back to home and then we go back and we look at the classes. Now I'm going to click on, let's click on my biology class here. Go to class. Okay. So now I've got the content here, all the units of the course I can get to. There's this annoyed, annoying need help thing which you cannot get rid of, it will not go away. Right, all the units of the course right there for me. So, what do I have to do today? Well, I look at it and I see, oh, uh, today's February 26th. The current day will be highlighted in blue like this. Here's what we have to do. 2.11 genetic basis of evolution. Okay, also 2.11 quiz is due. So, let's go to 2.11. Well, it's in unit 2. Lesson 11. So I'm in Unit 2 and I scroll down to 
2.11 here it is I can click on this and then here are all the parts of this lesson so I just click here and I'm gonna scroll through the lessons and I can show you what that looks like here all right so these are some slides just click to keep on going through advancing through the pages That was sort of an introduction. Here's the main lesson. Just keep clicking as I read through here. And now we are into the quiz. So uh, you would see a like start quiz thing. Since I'm a teacher, I see a little different view here. And that's it for the lesson. So when you're done, you're done with the work for the day. Now let's say that we are in biology and we think that we missed some uh, assignments. Well, you can go back to the class home or you can click on plan to see another view of the plan and you can go back to, see, to look at previous days. So here Monday February 26th, let's change it. Let's go see what we were doing on Friday. Maybe I missed Friday. Maybe I was gone. Maybe I was in Las Vegas or something. Well, let's see what we were doing 2.9 laboratory and 2.10 laboratory so if I missed those I would go in to to unit 2 and I'd find those and I'd do them okay now what if I want to check on my grades in two ways look grades right here if you click on that you're gonna see a list of all the grades you have if, if you've got a zero in something it's because you didn't turn it in so you gotta do it Right? If you're missing something, you got to do it. Also, progress gives you another view of uh, your grades, essentially. Okay, I'm not going to click on these because if I click on these as a teacher, then I see a big list of students. You will see just your stuff, of course. Okay, so now I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get into another class. So if you if you want to go into another class, but you don't want to go the long way by going to my home, you can click on this uh, drop down button here and you can find one of your other classes and go there so we'll go to chemistry right okay so again what do you do well uh, you can see if there are any new announcements and read them then you go to the class plan and you see what do I have to do okay lesson uh, 2.01 that's what you have to do also 1.03 for Boyle's Law. okay, And then there are quizzes for both of those lessons. So then you would just go do them. Right? I'll go back to my home. Click on my classes. So when I'm when I've done uh, everything I need to do in all of my classes then I'm pretty much done for the day. Right? You can maybe work ahead if you want. You can check my email now there's one other thing you need to know about and that's this little my schedule thing okay <clears throat> so if I click on this what I see is I see the class connect sessions those are the live sessions now for some uh, students they will be optional for some students they will be required and in the student view you will see whether they're required of you or optional. It'll say optional or require, required. It will default to showing the current day today. Um, <clears throat> so at 11 o'clock I can click on this one go into that session. At 12 o'clock I can click on this one go into that session. What if I missed a session and I wanna I wanna go see it? Well I don't see anything except today do I? So what you have the ability to do is, uh, you know, mine looks a little different. You'll have a link to go back to different days in the student view, I believe. There's also a link that takes you to this page where you see there's a calendar and I can go back and I can look at, uh, let's go look at Friday, what was happening Friday. Right? So if I missed one of these sessions on Friday, I can click on it and I can see a recording or a link to a recording.
and then I click on that and then I see a recording of that session all right so <clears throat> that's it you want to go into each one of your classes by just going to my classes here go into each one see what assignments there are and uh, do them right you also want to see what live sessions you are required to go to that day if you're required to go to it you have to go to it if it says optional then you can choose to go to it or or skip it if you need to look back in time go go see a recording uh, you will see a calendar where you can do that now let me warn you that um, I believe in the student view you of the calendar here you may also see besides live sessions you might see a list of assignments or some uh, something that looks like it would be a list of assignments do not trust that just go into each class and find out what your assignments are by going into each class uh, some of the the websites seem to have trouble integrating with the classrooms you know uh, and unfortunately as a teacher I do not see the student view of all of this stuff so I don't see exactly what you see as a student um, so if you see on this kind of page not going into the class if you see some list of assignments do not trust it like if you see something that says assignments and there it's blank don't trust that you have to go into every single class every single day so that means you have to click on classes and then you have to click on each class and go into each class look at the plan see what you have to do that day and then do it click on your schedule see what uh, sessions you have to go to that day if they're required you have to go to them if they're optional make up your mind if you want to go or not and check your email because you will get important things from me and uh, your regular content teachers <laughs>